Every drop counts. Filling up this 20 litre jerry can takes a lot of patience. And some of the people at this tap have walked long distances to access this water. The 48% of the population is deprived for water and 49% for refugees that have stayed after, after for five years and above. Then we, we are almost sure that the issue of accessing safe water for our communities, both refugees and hosts need to be addressed. Researchers with the Children's Agency UNICEF also say many children are unable to get the nutrition they need. In terms of dietary adequacy, both refugees and hosts are having one meal a day on average. And in some cases, this one meal is supplemented by uh, porridge made out of the corn soya blend and both refugees and hosts. The hosts entirely depend on production. UNICEF finds the situation even more dire when it comes to accessing health and education services. It says the few facilities available struggle to handle the needs of local communities and the growing numbers of refugees. We would like, as UNICEF again, to affirm that we will continue to provide and prioritize investment in system strengthening in refugee hosting districts to enable integrated social service delivery. And by integrated, we mean services that benefit both host and refugee communities. The report also shows that in some areas, refugees now outnumber the residents in their host communities. Aid agencies in Uganda are tasked with meeting the daily needs of refugees, but resources are strained amid a continued influx of people seeking shelter from conflict. Uganda is home to over a million refugees from South Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, and Somalia. This influx of refugees has put a strain on the already existing resources. Authorities are now seeking for more support to end deprivation in the refugee hosting communities. Hilara Isga, CGTN, Kampala.